Hey, 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 good people. What it is, what it do with the whoop whoop. Welcome back to Uncomfortable Conversations Podcast. This is season two, episode one. Ah, check me out, season two, episode one. It was only a few months ago that I did season one. I've been on my job, (laughs) if I should say so myself. It's all in the shoulders, but welcome. This is Uncomfortable Conversations Podcast, season two. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little psyched. You, you can tell by how many times I said season two. So what? Yes, I am. <laughs> I did something. She said she would, and she did. Boom. I need the soundboard so I can hit the boom one time. I'm going to get that. Um. If you have not been following, season one is on Spotify, in which I will put the link in the description box for the newcomers. For everybody who followed me over here, Jesus Christ, I hit the mic, I'm sorry, y'all. For everybody who followed me over here to YouTube, thank you, thank you, thank you for following, for being with me for season one and now season two okay also i made a instagram page for the podcast it is uncomfortable conversations pod uncomfortable conversations i believe is in all caps and pod p-o-d is in lowercase at the end okay so once again what it is what it do with the whoop whoop it is me it is her it is i it is she Tamika Renee Bly and I'm grateful that you guys are here with me (laughs) on season two (laughs) check me out so listen right first of all I hope everybody's doing well okay and all that jazz I hope we are all in good spirits today let me get my grams let me get my grams because I cannot see So I want to start with a quote, right? Because I like to get right into it, okay? Because prolong it for what? (laughs) So there's this quote that I came across. It really stood out. I'm going to share it with the world. The quote is by a gentleman by the name of George Bernard. And it goes as follows. Excuse me. Two things define you. Your patience when you have nothing. And your attitude when you have everything. Honey. Because when you don't have nothing. And you have to be patient. (sighs) To get that nothing Sometimes, excuse me, Rainy. Sometimes it's, it's, I'm not going to say hard. It can be, um, I don't know, maybe overwhelming, you know, because with patience, you don't know exactly how long it is. You have to be patient for said thing. And that be the kicker, like, I mean, like you, okay. Like, if something is coming out in stores in a few days and they say it drop on this day at this time, you know, right? But if it's something you're working towards or something you really want and you just don't see it in the, in your near future, <laughs> okay, so now I got to sit and wait. How long do I have to wait? And then this, that, and the third, like, it can be a lot. Excuse me, Rainy, you're on a notepad. Excuse me. It's the disrespect for me because I'm using my my nice words. Excuse me, Rainy, because I have to have a notepad to keep me on my toes, okay, so I'm not repeating the same thing. And when it comes to... Uh, your attitude when you do have everything just be mindful that you was at a place once in your life where you had nothing you know the same people that 
you meet coming up can be them same people you meet going down. The only thing is they're going past you, whereas you is going past them. Just keep in mind that everyone's level, everyone's growth is not the same. So when you get to that place and you have all the things that you want, be mindful that that shit could be gone. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> what was that? Be mindful that that shit could be gone tomorrow in a blink of an eye, snap of a finger. Okay? That's that. Excuse me, Rainy. Jeez. I'm coming real raw and authentic, okay? So if you here for the real, welcome. You know, I'm probably going to have a little burp or two that's going to come out unexpectedly. It ain't going to be on purpose. You know, the cat might come out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Just, I'm just saying. I'm bringing you me and only me. No facade. Okay, so let's get that out there. Also, too, let me let me throw this out there. I am, Rainy, there was just a little fruit fly. I think you should go get it, girl. I am no one's therapist. I am no one's clinician. Okay? So I'm never going to sit up here and act like I know everything. There are, in fact, excuse me. There are, in fact, some things that I do know, that I do have some knowledge on. And I will speak on those. But most of the things that I talk about has to do with my own experience and experience that people have shared with me. And they gave me the okay to share it. Um, And, you know, just me being on a path to heal myself from a few things, I'm also learning, too. So... Just like I said in season one, I'm going to say it right here on season two, episode one. Um, This podcast is for me to educate, right? But also for me to be educated because I'm still learning. You're going to have to bag up, girl. I'm still learning. So... The second thing that I want to talk about, there's no real, uh, uh, (laughs) there's no real direction that I'm going with this episode. It's just a few things that I've been noticing and some things that legit grind my gears. Like some things just, it's like, (laughs) are you, are you kidding me? (laughs) Um, yeah. So the quote by George Bernard, love that quote. So now I need my glasses. (laughs) Now there is, I call it the think better segment, right? And what it says is instead of thinking, I'll never achieve my dreams. Think my dreams are within reach. Because what you want already wants you. You know, I've ran, I've came across a lot of people who feel like where they are in their current position, um, whether it be work or something else, but mainly it be work, <laughs> mainly it do be work, um, where they feel like they're stuck. You know, there there's a lot of people who are in this energy of where they feel like they're stuck in a the relationship. They're stuck at the job. And in my opinion, it's not a matter of you feeling or being stuck in any relationship, whether it's the job or, uh, you know, your your spouse, your partner. I don't think, this is just me, I don't think it's a matter of you feeling or being stuck. I think, first of all, if you know, right, if you are in tune with yourself, you know exactly what it is you want, whether that be in a partner or in a job, Go and get it. You know, uh, let me go back. He said, 
instead of thinking I will never achieve my dreams. Some people are allowing themselves to stay in that stuck energy because where they're at right now, just my opinion, (laughs) not saying I know for a fact, just my opinion, Um, because where they're at right now is, let's keep it real, where real need to be kept. A lot of people are comfortable. A lot of people fear change. A lot of people do have dreams and goals that they wish to achieve. That was a loud, I hope no one fell. And if they did, I hope they are okay. I don't know if y'all heard that, but that was, somebody, somebody took a spill. Um, just messed me all up. Damn. I don't like when that happened. <laughs> okay. What was I saying? Some people are in the energy of feeling stuck because they're comfortable where they're at. Some people fear change. Some people want to achieve their dream and achieve and at least work towards that dream or that goal. But maybe they feel like, and again, my opinion, maybe they feel like, you know, where I'm at right now has, it's not where I want to be per se, but it's, it's working for me. So I'm going to just kind of stay right here. And I feel that that's why a lot of people don't pursue their dreams and the things that they wish to achieve. Because, and maybe some people, um, from experience, some people may even have people around them who might be shunning what it is they're trying to achieve you know like oh you shouldn't do that you should do this or whatever the case is I believe I spoke about something like this in season one but some people I genuinely believe need to not only look deep within themselves to figure out what it is they need to do to achieve or to reach what it is they're trying to achieve rather I feel like some people too are not holding themselves back but being held back by the company that they're keeping we all know not all company is good company um it doesn't mean you know Stop being friends with that A1, day one. You know, it doesn't mean turn your back on the people who was shooting in the gym with you. No, absolutely not. But what if those same people are not trying to elevate and you are? If you are surrounded by people who are not trying to elevate themselves, but you are, depending on your mindset, You can easily get sucked into those lower vibrational people, okay? And it's no shade on them, you know? Some people are genuinely just comfortable where they're at. But if you are not comfortable where you're at and you're choosing to stay in this place where you're uncomfortable this relationship where you're uncomfortable that has everything to do with you okay and you need to get together because um that's not it's not conducive to your health or none of that shit so get up get out and do something ow get up get out and do something it's all in the shoulders bam okay so that was the think better segment (laughs) another thing i don't even need my glasses for this Another thing, right? And I I believe I added this to my story on Instagram maybe last night. There are a lot of people who are not healed, not even trying to heal from things that you've already healed from. And we should show those people grace along with showing ourselves some grace okay and the reason why I really wanted to talk about this is because jeez, 
It's sip something Sundays. So let me just um I'm off tomorrow. You know what I mean? Let me just take a little. <laughs> I'm grown. I'm grown. Okay. Take a sip with me if you got it now. It could be juice, water, Canada dry. Take a sip. <laughs> sip on some Sundays. Um lost my train of thought. Let me go back. Bam. There are some people who have not even begun, okay, to heal from things that you may have already healed from. And not that because when 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 some when when someone said this to me, I heard what they said, but then I had to interject. interject because here's the thing, and, and this is from my experience, like I've literally experienced this. Here's the thing. So I'm in my healing energy, right? Said person is not in that energy yet. Or they're there, but it's still a struggle for them because healing is not an easy journey, okay? It's not a quick fix. It's not... You're not healed overnight depending on what it is that you are healing from. So I'm in this energy of healing. You are in the energy of you're not even halfway there. That does not mean when I say show you grace, that does not mean because you are still in this energy where you're not healed yet. That I get your ass to kiss. That does not mean... Because you are still in this energy where you have not healed yet, okay, that I get the attitude, I get the lash outs. That's not, that's not how that works. If in your, if you are on your journey to heal and let's say, you know, because some days are just better than others. Let's say, you know, on this particular Tuesday, you woke up thinking about whatever it is that you, you, that you are trying to heal yourself from. And sometimes that happens, you know, creep up in your mind sometimes. And on this Tuesday, like, it's just blowing you. Like, it's just on your mind. You may be frustrated because you're like, why do I keep thinking about this? Who knows? But now, right, you leave your home and go to the outside world with that energy. Okay? And we, the people, the collective, have to, we don't have to, <laughs> but if you're someone who is in tune, you feel that, that negativity coming off of someone else. You feel that energy. Okay, no one got time for that shit. So now you're at work. Depending on where you work, you are spreading this energy off to everybody at your workplace. If you have a family, you know, and you're just chilling at home for the day, who knows? It's, I'm sure the energy in the crib is going to be like, oh my God, like dad or mom or bro or sis, whoever it can be. They're just not, I don't know, it's something about them. They, like, their energy, like, they're just, I don't know, like, they got attitude, whatever. I say that to say this. If you find yourself not being able to communicate with other people, to operate in the outside world, because you're healing, uh, because what it is you're healing from, it's just, you know, it's taking you longer than others. Maybe sit down before you go outside. Maybe check yourself. You know what I mean? Maybe say, you know what? <sighs> I know I got to go to work. This is bothering me. On my way to work, I need to woosaw. I need to calm down. I need to listen to a self-help podcast or put your music on, whatever it may be. But just for a second, when you find yourself in that, let's call it, let's call it a shitty mood, 
you know, try to remember that there are people in the outside world who know nothing about what it is you're going through or have gone through. There are people outside in the world at your workplace or whatever who may not know that you are on a healing journey. So show them grace too. Give yourself grace, but show them grace too. Because they don't know. All they know is so-and-so came to work today in a shitty mood. And, like, nobody want to kind of talk to that person today. Like, stay over there with your attitude. You know? Like, just for a second, just... It's okay to turn the mirror around and say, you know what? I'm not in a good mood today. I don't want to take it out on you. So, I'm going to decide to just... You know, be to myself. I'm not mad or anything. You might be mad, <laughs> but you better get glad real quick, especially when you when you gotta go to work. You know, cause when you clock into work, your personal supposed to clock out anyway. This is a business. Your personal, as soon as you get to the door, the elevator, wherever it is, your personal's like, all right, player. All right, sir. All right, ma'am. All right, girl. All right, boy. Have a good day. I'll be out here waiting for you when you clock out. Because the shit's still going to be there, right? So be mad about it all day for what? You know, long story short, don't bring your negativity out into the world because nobody wants to deal with that shit. (laughs) Bam. Show grace. There's some people who are just now healing themselves from the fuckery. From the bullshit. From the audacity. (laughs) Right? Another thing I wanted to get into. I'm going to take another sip if y'all don't mind. It's like my third sip or whatever. Okay, another thing I want to get into is. This really grinds my fucking gears. You understand what I'm saying? The grown boys and girls, like, okay, for instance, if you are having tantrums at your grown ass age because you're a man or a woman you know, maybe forgot to get you something or who it could be a number of things. But if you are having a tantrum at your grown ass age, some reevaluation is needed. It's necessary rather. Alright. Grown boys and girls. Bam. <laughs> Real experience, y'all true experience, right? I'ma tell you an experience I had with a grown girl. And I'm going to tell you an experience I had with a grown boy. These are really grown men and grown women. But y'all, you know what I mean? All right. So, the grown woman. I'm sorry, the grown girl. So, (laughs) how I knew I was operating with a grown girl and not a grown woman was when... I was out with said person and it we're out painting the town red, pink, blue, yellow, orange, you know. It was one of those times back back when I was a young little whoop snapper. <laughs> a few years ago, whatever. Um, I was out and it was a commotion. It had nothing to do with us. But the the commotion is is like right here. Can y'all see? Just right here. Just right here. And we're like right here where the pillow is just kind of walking by. I'm um, trying to get to the car or whatever. And... 
you know, I can't help but, of course, we can't help but to notice the commotion is right there. So, you know, we're walking by, not stopping. Well, at least I'm not stopping because it ain't got nothing to do with me. Walking by. See the commotion. Oh, shit. Look. Oh, they about to fight. Uh, well, girl, come on. We don't, we don't even know them, let alone they're not having nothing to do with us. We don't even know them. You don't know them? You know them? That's what I asked her. I said, girl, do you know them? And she started laughing. Anyway, so we're walking by. Commotion's going on. Somebody from this side said something along the lines of, because I'll... Beat anybody's ass out here. Something. It was a female. Something along the lines of anybody can get it. We don't know them. <laughs> Let alone and not having nothing to do with us. We don't know them. Right? Keep it moving. Homegirl says. Uh-uh. Who the fuck she talking to? Because... <laughs> Who asked, bitch, who asked you going to be? Because da da da. And I'm just like. You know, all I, like, literally the only thought that came to my head that night I vividly remember was. See, this is why I don't come out. That's all I thought about. This is why I don't come out. This is why it be taking me a long time to get ready. When I'm supposed to go out with certain individuals, not with everybody, but with certain individuals, this is why it'd be the universe telling me like, "Uh uh-uh, you might as well put your little pajamas on, roll your little blunt, put on your little crime show and kick back because you know you ain't going. That's the thought I had. Like, see, this is why I don't go out. I haven't been out. With her, uh, I don't plan on <laughs> going back out with her. Never. I was going to say no time soon, but I'll say never. Because <laughs> what the fuck is that? Like, And then for me to be younger than this person, have to have a conversation with you, my elder, to say, listen, why are you acting like that? Like, I don't know, because this bitch did it. Yeah, but she wasn't talking to us. Like, so now she's going to give you that energy back. And then y'all might get into it. And I'm with you. So win, lose, or draw, I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm here with you, too. So now we all in some shit. And long story short, she just didn't understand where I was coming from. And that let me know that she still operates with a girl mentality. She's still a grown woman, nonetheless. I don't want to put no disrespect on her. She's still a she's still very much a grown woman, but mentally it's like mentally it's like this, right? It's a big ass house, but ain't no furniture inside. Okay? There ain't even a welcome mat. That's that. Now, the grown boys. The grown boys. I'm so tired of grown boys. <laughs> I'm so tired of grown boys. They're grown in age. The same with the grown girls mentally. Nice apartment, no furniture. You know. Or a fully fully furnished crib, but guess what? Somehow somebody forgot the screw in the light bulbs. Right? So now they're trying to figure out, oh my God, how don't we have lights instead of them just getting a light bulb and screwing it in? Oh, you, you see? Okay, bam. Just like that. I think that sounds about right. Um, my experience dealing with a grown boy. I knew I was dealing with a grown boy when I asked him,
Let me let's take another drink real quick. Okay. I knew I was dealing with a grown boy when I asked him at the time he was staying with his parents. Ain't no shade in that. Now if you some people go through breakups. Some people get laid off, you know, and have to, this is what I have to do until I get back on my feet, right? When I ask this man, you know, what it is that you have going on, and he was explaining to me his job, I'm like, okay, good. So are you looking to move, you know, because you can You can afford not only a one bedroom, you can afford a two bedroom, you know? It's just, it's just him by himself. So I'm like, what's up? Oh, my leg falling asleep. There we go. So I'm like, what's up? And he straight told me like, nah, like I don't, I don't need to move. Like, what? Like, I don't really pay no bills. I'm like. Nigga, what do you mean? What do you mean? I keep hitting the mic, sorry. What do you mean? You are in your mid-30s. Like, at least if he would have said, you know, well, nah, it's just me and Mom Dukes, you know, since Dad passed or whatever the case is. It's just me and Mom Dukes, so, you know, I make sure I pay you know, this, that, and the third, take some weight off her. So she don't really, like, be paying nothing like that, you know. He straight said to me, like, nah, I don't I don't pay no bills. Like, I'm chilling. I could take trips. Like, I could splurge. Like, I got time for you. I said, no, you ain't got no fuck. I'm, try- I'm trying not to cuss. I'm trying not to cuss. <laughs> I said, no, 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 play. You ain't got no effing time for me. Whatever time you thought you had, whatever time you thought I was going to give your ass, I take it back. Because what are you talking about? Again, people be in situations that require them to, you know, I need to crash on a cousin's couch or I need to stay with my sister or something like that. I get it. But if you are comfortable living off of someone else at your big ass age at least for me that's a problem because it lets me know or it kind of gives me the feeling that you may be lazy you may enjoy being taken care of you know you may enjoy being in the energy of Having women provide for you. I don't like it is all I'm saying. I don't like it. Cross that off the list. So grown boys and girls. Keep that shit. I don't like it. I don't like it. Like I'm a grown ass woman. You understand? And. Again. Because people go through things. I'm never going to shun someone who. Wants to entertain me that doesn't have their own because I have my own, you know. However, not shunning, but just taking into consideration that if you are not talking about leveling up, if there is no room for growth coming out your mouth, there's no conversations being had where you're like, yeah, I'm here now, but... I'm doing A, B, C, X, Y, Z to get there. I can't. I don't got nothing for you. Because I'm in the energy of growth. You know, I'm in the energy of progression. I don't. I'm not. I'm not okay being comfortable. Especially if it's being comfortable in something or with someone that is just not good for me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm comfortable at home, you know, because I created my home 
to be a place of comfort for me and mine. You know, a place of peace. When I go outside, if I want to hear hooping and hollering, I'm in here hooping and hollering. But when I come home, <laughs> it's all I'm saying, you know. Okay, almost done here. I got about three more things, four more things. Okay. This one, for me, is... It's something that I literally had to tell myself. Tamika. <laughs> like, people, other people not wanting to grow. Other people not wanting to elevate. Other people... Wanting to lie, steal, cheat, whatever, be manip- be manipulative. They ain't got shit to do with me, everything to do with them, right? But then, I started to ponder on something. And then I, I had a question. Right? And tell me if y'all may or may not have had this thought. So, the question is... <laughs> Do you think people ever get tired of their own shit? Okay. Let's cross that out because I did that already. Do you think people ever get tired of their own lies? You know, do you think people ever get tired of their own gameplay? Do you think people ever get tired of cheating? You know, Um, this is men and women. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> I, don't, I don't judge here okay this goes for both parties not just one do you think it was another one lies cheating manipulation okay cause it's like <sighs> let's keep it real where it real need to be kept some people don't even know when they're lying How? How don't you know when you're lying? You know why? Light bulb. Because you done lied so damn much. The lies you were telling yourself and other people are starting to become your truth. And that's crazy. That's beyond me. That's what they saying today. That's diabolical. That's what that is. That's diabolical diabolical with a capital D. A capital D. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> so, I guess if you... I can't even say that. Because if you are not aware that you're lying, how are you getting tired of it? Right? If you are not aware... Well, no, people are aware that they're cheating, so I I can't even do that. But if you are not aware that what it is you're doing, you're lying, you're cheating, you manipulating people, whatever it is, just your own shit. If you are not aware of how it's affecting people, that's a major problem. That's a major problem. That's... That's crazy. And now, to piggy to piggyback on that, this is what I wrote down. I wrote down, at what point does a conversation need to be had with yourself, right? Not with no one else, but with yourself, so you can come to the conclusion that your shit is and can hurt others. Lying, depending on the lie. <laughs> I don't even want to say depending on the lie. Because a, a little lie can hurt someone just as much as a big lie, right? Lying, cheating, excuse me. Lying, cheating, manipulating others. Just deceiving others can really do some damage because we all know once you tell one lie, you got to follow it up with 
10 more. Um, we all know when you cheat, it hurts the other spouse, the other party, rather, whether they decide to take you back or not. You know, like, it, the shit hurts, like, because, and I think that this may go for men and women. I can literally only speak on women for sure because I ain't never been no man. I don't plan on being one. (laughs) But I think that when it comes to, when it comes to cheating, whether it's the man that cheated on the woman or vice versa, it'll have, it's enough to have either party in their head thinking, am I not enough? You know, like, why would she step out on me? Why would he step out on me? Like, I thought I was everything that they needed and more. You know, like, I thought I was their person or this was my person. And to be, to have someone put you in that mindset it's not good it's not good like fuck that hurt people hurt people of course we all know hurt people hurt people but along with you being a hurt person going on to hurt others you already are In the energy of being unhealed, right? Because when I think of hurt people hurt others, I'm thinking that uh, said person is already in an energy where they are not healed yet. Because someone who's healed is not going to go and bring their shit on other people to hurt them. (laughs) We all know that, I think. So, you're you're, you're walking around in this um, unhealed energy. Is what a hurt person is doing. So aside from that, you have to bring in lies. You have to cheat. You have to uh, be deceitful and manipulative. You are already unhealed bringing that shit over here. Why must you pile on the other shit? Some people, from experience... I don't operate in this energy, but the person I was dealing with definitely do, did. Um, Some people, for lack of better words, just don't give a flying fuck. They don't care who they hurt. You know, it can be someone who just the most genuine, kind just wholeheartedly a wholesome person. You can deal with someone like that. But because someone is in their unhealed energy, they not going to give a flying fuck if they hurt you. Whether it be with their words or their action. I'm only speaking from experience. Um, and that sucks. Also, too, I had to sneeze. Excuse me. Also, too, it's a. I also think it's not them not wholeheartedly caring. I think it's more so because they are not healed, right? And we all know, uh, generally, how people treat you. Is a reflection of how they feel about themselves. Sometimes, more often than not, that is the case, right? So, now let's try this one on for size. When it comes to an unhealed person that's in the energy of, I'm hurt, so I'm going to go and hurt everybody I come across. That person, of course, they're not healed from the things that hurt them. Also, too, just because I like to, I always put other people's feelings into consideration because I never want to want to lead with it's about me. You know, oh, this person ain't call me because what, they don't like me no more. You know, I never want to lead 
with thinking it's about me. So I put into consideration that there are some grown people that still dealing with things that happened in their childhood, right? There are some men who may have had a great woman in their life and these men may have sabotaged these relationships and vice versa for women may have sabotaged these relationships because they were used to dealing with let's say lower uh, vibration people right or they were used to dealing with women who lied to them you know who played with their emotions who played with their feelings who who wore a mask you know and the same with women you know some women are used to dealing with men who operate in um, that lower energy as well. So now we got the man and the woman who is going around <laughs> um, causing hurt and pain to others because this is what they know. I was treated this way. So I'm going to treat you that way. You know, and some people only know one way it sucks but like some people are some men are used to dealing with one type of type of woman some women are used to dealing with one type of man or a man who operates in just a certain energy a woman who operates in a certain energy and then when you get that woman who if not for nothing, when you get that woman or man who calls you out on your shit, who calls you out on your lies, who calls you out on your cheating, first fucking ball. Yeah, call them out on a cheating. Never mind, because I was about to say something else. But yeah, basically, when you get with a man or a woman who calls you out on your shit, now you're offensive. Because guess what? This man or woman ain't never had no one hold them accountable. Right? A lot of people need to hold themselves accountable. That's why I put here, at what point does a conversation need to be had with yourself? It's okay to just, uh, how you call it? It's okay to just sit back for a second and be like, damn. How I'm operating. First first of all, I think the most important question before you start to dive into exactly how it is you're operating and why you're operating in that energy and what you can do to fix that. I think the most important thing is to ask ourselves, right? Ask ourselves. If all that I'm doing to said person was being done to me, how would it affect me? If you're someone that's going to answer and say, oh, I, I really wouldn't be affected, you got fucking issues. We all got them some more than others. But more often than not, no one is going to be okay with getting treated the way that they have treated someone else especially if it was really bad you know if it was just a straight shit show nobody nobody is going to ask right for someone to come in and intentionally cause them pain no one is going to ask, hey, babe, you look good today. So I was thinking, um, how about you go and cheat on me and then tell me some lies and then manipulate me a little bit? Says who? I'll drink to that. <laughs> Says who? Who, who, who's going to ask for you to give all of that to them? Nobody wants that shit. Nobody wants to be hurt. 
on purpose or by accident, but sometimes shit happens. But nobody wants to intentionally be hurt. So first ask yourself how you would feel, right? How you would feel if the treatment you were you were inflicting on someone else was done uh being done to you. Ask yourself that shit. And then sit down, get a mirror. It could be your phone. <laughs> but get something, you know, that's transparent. Okay. So you can you know, and some people don't have to you don't have to literally sit and look at yourself. Just sit with yourself and make yourself aware of your behaviors, you know, and not only make yourself aware of your behaviors, but how your behaviors affect others, especially if it's people that like, like you could not, you just can't imagine them not being in your life. Don't hurt them. <laughs> because once a good person, a genuine person, pulls their energy back, excuse me, nine times out of ten, you're not getting that energy. You, like, you're not getting it back. You're not, you're probably not going to find that energy anywhere. I also found that for most people, when they do... <laughs> when they do give this shit, the lies, cheating, manipulation, etc., etc., when they do give this shit to other people, you know, because that karmic will is a real thing, I find or have found from experience that I'm not laughing at this person. I'm just smiling because people... Like my dad told me, my nana used to say, pretty much don't play the get back game, right? Because people who do you wrong always get their karma. You may not see it, but they always get it, okay? And people who play dirty never win, okay? Bam. So... The karma for some people uh, is that you'll never be able to get that energy back or find that energy nowhere. Like, you'll never even come. You may come close. You may come close. But you're never going to have that particular energy back. That is some people's karma. Karma. To never be able to get back someone that they hurt you know and nine times out of ten the people who are putting their shit on you also insecurities i guess should be added on that list too people who are putting their shit on you nine times out of ten uh i feel like i feel like uh, jesus christ the people who are putting their shit on you, nine times out of ten, they're not only hurting you, they're hurting themselves. Because once reality kicks in, once reality kicks in, and they now they have time to think of all they could have done or should have done, should have, would have, could have, singing the blues. But now they're like, damn, I lost a good person by doing this, that, and the third. You know, I put all of my shit onto this person. So much so that, like, they got tired of the shit and walked away. They pulled their energy back. Turn the mirror around, yo, because you don't want to lose a good person because, because you refuse to be honest with yourself. Because that's where it starts first, being honest with yourself. And realizing that you indeed do have shit that you need to work on. Be honest with yourself. A lot of people ain't honest with themselves. 
the last thing I want to chat about. Oh, what you hear about? Oh, what you hear about? <laughs> the last thing I want to chat about, though, is um, people who act like victims and problems that they created. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot come to me telling me about a situation or complaining about a situation that now you're all fucked up because of said situation. But you're the problem that you're fucked up in this situation. So me on the outside looking in, do I do I burst your bubble and say, hey, well, this is it's because of you? Or do I kind of just... Show you some grace. Absolutely fucking not. This is what Tamika Renee Bly will do. First of all, you come to me crying wolf over some shit that you did. I'm probably not going to really have too much of a response. I'm definitely listening because I, I want to listen and make sure I'm taking everything in. But I'm also going to tell you, like, I'm probably going gonna to run that back for you. Like let me let me make this make sense. Let let us <laughs> as the collective let let us make it make sense. So you mean to tell me that you okay are upset at said situation, but you did this and whoop 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 and whoop whoop. I will read that shit all back just to make sure you heard what you told me. And if that shit don't click and you be like, damn, you're right. You got a problem. That woe is me mentality is real. It's realer than realer than realer than real. And I have no time, space, energy. Listen, I don't I just don't I just don't got it to deal with people who try to fall victim. I was going to say people who fall victim to people who try to fall victim victim to problems that they created. I don't got no time for that. I can't do it because I'm that person that's going to hold you accountable. I'm that person that's going to be like, no, 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 hold up, back up, rewind. <laughs> um, well, this is like this because of this. And you did this. Which then caused this to be the outcome. So now I'm, 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 aside from me, aside from me holding you accountable, I'm going to throw out like, okay, so what can, like, what can be done to change this? You know, to make sure you, you don't get back here. We have to figure it out. Now, like, I'm a team player. I'm, can I help? Is it, do you want me to help? Like, I'm all here for it. But you're not about to come to me. Acting like no victim to some shit that you created. I ain't here for it. I ain't got the time. Money bag yo said what he said. But I'm looking at my wrist and I ain't got the time today. I don't have it. I don't got the time. Ugh. Sorry, let me fix myself. I don't got the time to operate with people who are in a low vibrational energy. I'm not here for that shit. Okay. I ain't got the time to operate with anyone who has the woe is me mentality. I ain't got the time for grown boys and grown girls. Okay. What I do have time for, however, is reflection growth, patience, okay, progression, okay, elevation, okay, I got time for growth, so if you're growing, I'm here for you, I hope you guys enjoy the first episode of the second season of Uncomfortable Conversations, I'm gonna come with that heat, I'm going to be dropping episodes every Sunday at 8 p.m. Get with it or get lost. Tamika Renee Bly out. 
Yeah, I'm going to end it just like that. Ow.